Alright, yo, what's up guys? Dave on here. Out here playing some Pike 80 carry uh, for this game. I am currently duo with a Soraka player. And usually when I play Pike 80 carry, I, I like to duo queue. Because a lot of players don't know really how Pike 80 carry works. So if you're lower elo trying to play this pick, I would highly suggest the duo queue. We just burn this guy's flash. Gonna walk towards top. Have a nice little burger fight. This should be good for us. Can maybe turn on Twitch. Ooh. I think I might be doomed here. I think that was Vigar Flash. Okay, really terrible start to the game. Well, that's all right. We got Twitch Flash. Don't think MF burned anything. Did MF burn healed? No. Damn. Okay. So trash start, but whatever. We're just gonna go to lane. So, like I was saying, um, usually like duo queues really go pikey to carry, especially if you're lower elo. If you're like below diamond, then I think most players won't really understand how pikey to carry works, and often they'll probably flame you for picking it. I think it's a great pick. But if you're looking to learn Pikey to Carry, I would highly suggest finding a duo. There's plenty of supports that work with Pikey to Carry. Uh, currently, my favorite is playing with Soraka. At least just this this is Kelpo. He's a challenger Soraka player. He also plays Pike. So, you know, an another thing would be to maybe find a duo queue partner that also plays Pike. So they, they really know how your champion works. Uh, looks like Jargon wants to level 2. So with Pike and Carry, you're always gonna be playing safe early. Safe early is like pretty standard. Never really play aggro level one unless our level one's like really good. So what we're looking for here is to hit level two before Jarvan shows up. It should be two or three melee minions for level two. So I'm not trying to fight, just trying to hit level two first before Jarvan gets here. Looks like Jarvan just EQ'd though. Why did Jarvan use EQ? We don't have heal is the issue. So we ping the guy that has no flash. Should be pretty free. Not bad, not bad. Get the cannon too. Cool. Good. Now the wave's great for us. Mr. Jarvin not happy with me getting the kill, bro. I didn't even use my Q, man. I was just auto-attacking. It's all good. Just say sorry. Just you know, I don't, I don't want to argue with the guy. Now he's mad that he didn't get the kill. I do believe that the kill on me is way better than it would ever be on him. But I don't need to tell him that. You know, you don't need to type in solo queue. Ty uh, what I tell my stream all the time is type is loose. Uh, I consider typing back is losing. You know, because me typing back to Jarvin is really just pointless. I mean, I type sorry, right? But like, sorry is kind of a positive thing to type because it makes me, makes me look better. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to take the kill. I was just auto attacking. Okay, mm, miss a little CS. So our goal is to get serrated dark first base. When you're playing carry pike, either mid or AD carry pike, if you're playing farming pike, then you want serrated dark first base. And we've already pretty much accomplished that. So we're gonna look for a combo on this guy. Should be killable to be honest. Don't know how good this is. I think it's fine. Wow. That's so unlucky. Should have queued faster there. That blows. Maybe I could have exhausted MF. I definitely should have got that kill on Twitch though. That's completely on me. I saved my Q for too long there. Whoa. Okay, nice. Well played. Well played. Yeah, the weight's pretty bad too. On the bright side, Twitch is like 1 HP, so I can fight with Rocco as soon as I get back. I think I also could have held my E. I think I just misplayed that fight in general. But maybe we can look here. Got him. Nice. The hard read. Hard read on the stealth. Maybe we can look for MF as well. 
Got a nice look is on her. Looks like MF is trolling. Okay. Ooh, the yoink. Damn, I didn't think he could do that. Respect. So a big combo with Soraka Pike is I land the hook and the Soraka silences. And what that silence allows is my E to connect for free. Now, maybe I could play with Jarvan here. Mm, this is a bit risky though. So I can just leave this kill for him now. Maybe I can take it after he EQs. You EQ? Okay. Maybe go this guy too. I'm, I'm very willing to dive this. I knew MF didn't have enough damage. Ooh, okay. The tower shot was actually pretty close there. Hmm. Fighting this is kind of hard. Sorok is OP. <laughs> nice. Now we can recall on that. We'll probably go call fields just for the bonus AD. I don't really want to fight that. Oh man, I could have stayed. So just... Yeah, I should have stayed. But, you know, I'm not really willing to cancel my recall there. Because, like, the wave is coming in at such a nice spot that canceling recall is kind of rough there. But, you know, this this is great. Great position. Soraka got most, <laughs> most of the kills. But hey, bro, like, Soraka getting kills is completely fine with me. Forgot to talk about runes. So their, their comp is pretty low CC. And when I'm playing with a Soraka, like, Revitalize is super high value. I actually go for MF here. I queued a little too early. This guy's no flash. I'll have to wait it out a little bit. What? Wow. Okay. Another hard read on the hook. That's one thing, uh, it's kind of hard to explain how to land those kind of hooks. It's just me predicting whether he goes straight to the left or straight to the right. So when he went in that bush, in my mind, he's either going all the way down in the bush or all the way up. And so what I guess is he went all the way down. So look, we're looking for Dustblade here. Oops. Okay, that's good enough. We get Dustblade now. It's huge. As you can see, like, Soraka Pike damage is really good. Soraka is not, like, a, that weak of an early game champion. I wonder if I should go Sleeper. Uh, that's the only issue I have with Pikety carries. I never really know what trinket to go. I'm going to hold on to yellow because my Soraka is red. I think that's a decent idea. But now that we have Dustblade, just looking to perma fight. And the nice thing about playing Pike bot lane is that there's two people to ulti. Uh, so Twitch is no flash. Don't remember MS Flash. MS Flash was pretty early in the lane phase. So it's probably already up. But MF went straight top. I guess I could have. I saw that. I could have pinged that, but whatever. This MF roam doesn't really do much. So we can dive off this wave probably. Looks like there's a Vigar here. Ooh, there's a big fight here. We have Sirocco though, so we don't lose. Make sure I get a good E angle here. The only way I messed that up is like using my E really poorly, but I feel like even if I missed E, it was still pretty free. Now, obviously, like if you play duo Q with someone playing Pikey to carry, it's not going to look great, okay? You have to realize it's not going to go amazing the first game, unless it does. If it goes great first game, that, that's great. But, you know, Pikey to carry isn't the easiest thing to play in the world, and it, it takes a lot of game games played. I've been maining Pike mid since season 9, and I've been playing Pike 80 carry since about season 10. So Pike 80 carry is nowhere near a new playstyle for me. I've been playing Pike 80 carry for about two years. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, it was not easy the first games. You gotta you gotta learn matchups, right? Like, cause it's just like mid lane. You gotta learn the bot lane matchups, and there's there's always there's not always the easiest matchups in the bot lane. Now we're playing against MF Twitch, which is definitely like pretty good for us, just cause they're both squishies. I'm gonna go for MF here. 
just did the straight line. Always frustrating when you try to predict movement and they just ruin a straight line. But that straight line dodge is still a dodge in itself. Okay, so we're, we want to prio the MF just because she has double buffs, but it's kind of hard. Especially since, like, uh, I think their teammates are rotating. Are they on Dragon? No. Okay, we can go on this. Probably go Twitch first. Pretty sure his flash is still down. Go down here. Yeah. Easy combo. Have to flash the Camille just so I don't get ulted. Maybe can save Rucka. Nice. Huge Seraphine ult, by the way. I got blue buff, so I can wait for a Q mana, maybe. Nice. Just played that really slow. Played to protect my Soraka overall. I, I prioritized my Soraka over everyone there, right? It went great. Now, what I could do is use this ulti reset on Twitch. The red buff might finish him off. Nice. Perfect damage, actually. That was the last tick of... Uh, Tick of red buff. Great. The combo there was ER, okay? And I positioned the R so that the stun would connect. The, the big thing there is positioning the R well. And I, once the stun lands, obviously just auto, auto, Q. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. So we need to assess the threats on their team. The biggest threat, even though they're Vigar's three nodes, actually Camille. Because Camille ulti is like the biggest threat for me. Now what I could do is go Death Dance second, but I don't like that build too much. I just want to go Death Dance there, so we'll do this. Now a another great idea would have been Stopwatch. I would have built Stopwatch if I had the money, but I value I value the Ghost Blade finish over building Stopwatch. But if you're not as confident, honestly, it, and if you're just smarter, then you would go Stopwatch here, because like having a 1K bounty, you should build Stopwatch every time. I just don't build it because I'm so confident in my ability. I think I should live a Twitch burst here. He does have flash. Okay, maybe not. Or he didn't feel like using it. Sometimes people will just die without flashing. So I got the reset on MF there because I used the ulti right before Soraka got the kill. So it didn't even matter that Soraka got the kill. I just used my ulti at the very last second. Still got the same amount of gold. We are just putting a clinic on down here, though. Even with, like, the really bad level 1 start, right? I lost both of my sums level 1, I think. Did I lose exhaust? I definitely lost flash level 1. I don't remember if I exhausted, but... Even with such a trash start, it was doing great. I might try to do the same play on Twitch. Without ulti this time, though. But I have Ghostblade, so Ghostblade allows me to gap close on him really fast. I think it's just better to, to base here, though. Mm, never mind. Free Twitch kill. I'll take it. <laughs> 140 gold. Nice. So we'll prioritize GA here. I'm, I'm a big fan, big fan of going Death Dance. But to be honest with you guys, if you're in this position, you should always, always go GA. Just because the item is so OP. It's always worth it if you have this big of a bounty to try and deny it from enemy team. Now, if I was streaming right now, I would have went Death Dance for sure. Just because I like to play for content. Not even just content, but I like to, you know, push my limits as much as I can as a player. Now, fighting Vigar is not the best idea. Just because he's really strong. The, the only way we lose this game is me giving bounty to this Vigar. Now, maybe since Cage is down, we can look. Ooh. Okay, so I just had to waste my stopwatch, unfortunately. If I hit the hook, he would have died to it, but now we have to play pretty safe because I don't have stopwatch. I think I will just keep playing aggro, though. Yeah, I cannot predict this guy, unfortunately. We got his ulti, at least, but now we need to, we need to focus on finishing GA. Okay. Can maybe each no okay now we should play safe uh, I, i'm gonna play as smart as i can even though like i really want to go in 
but I'm trying to show you guys like what you should realistically do while playing Pike uh, as a carry. So now I want to go the GA for sure because I, I used my stopwatch right. If there was a world where I didn't use stopwatch, I would save the stopwatch and go into Death Dance. But since I used the stopwatch, I will go GA and then go Death Dance next. Mm, I can sell D Shield for Call Fields. Not the not the worst idea. D Shield's a pretty nice item to hold on to though. But I think it's worth it to sell here. Another item I could have won is like Edge of Night. But I value the Death Dance so highly because I have Soraka. <laughs> Death Dance keeps you alive for longer, and while I'm being kept alive longer, the Soraka is healing me more. But Death Dance should just be built every game. I mean I would do I would be doing this build even if I didn't have a Soraka. Death Dance is just so insane on this champion, it's not fair. Can maybe look for a pick. Can hard predict again? Yeah. So I need to be careful of the Vigar here. My priority is getting out. Oh man. So yeah, uh, I actually, my Q flash there was really bad. I made, uh, I when I flashed is, is when I made the Q miss. Honestly, we'll just recall here. Now that my flash is down, we're pre it's pretty rough. We still have GA at least. Uh, I think I'll just go pink ward. I could go cloth armor, but I think pink ward is just more valuable here. Oops. Go straight to dragon. Want to definitely play with the team here. Ooh. Ooh, can I make it to that? Seems like we already won. It's looking a little rough though. Okay, not bad. Cannot move, cannot play the game. Okay, got his flash at least. Both flashes are down, but MF is too much of a speed for me to catch that. We'll take that. We can time that flash actually. That, that flash is really important to time. Because Vigar is their strongest member. Maybe go for EW here. Okay, never mind. Man, her move speed's so high on that champion. So my Soraka has a stopwatch. I don't have to peel Soraka as much. I can definitely use Soraka as bait. But like, you know, not not in that kind of way. I'm not trying to make Soraka die, but we can definitely bait them to focus Soraka, then she stopwatches and we win the fight. Oops. I need level 11 off this. Come look for a hook on MF. Can my team follow up? Nope. Damn, I lost a lot of HP. Now my Sorak is low too. Mm. So, smart play would probably just be reset again. But I can probably stay in the mix. Oh. Okay. Gorge Anchor OP. This is completely fine. It's MF support, so the damage is really low. We are getting flanked by Camille, though. So, best place probably just leave here. Not exactly sure. I mean, we'll just go pickaxe. Yeah, pickaxe pretty solid by. Still have our GA. Once we have flash is when we can really start to go crazy. But for now, we just need to hold on to the GA, make sure we don't die. Soraka is Zonias now. It's a really standard build from Kelpo, my duo. We still go Moonstone Zonias. And he he knows that he's the bait too. Like the best best play is to, to bait them to focus Raka, then he pops Zonias and we just win. So we'll probably play through mid here. I saw I just saw Vigar on this ward. So I'll, I'm gonna run straight at them. I couldn't really ulti out of the cage there. Oh man. out of the cage go on him just go straight to my guy oh okay well i kind of entered but it should be fine damn bro 
Vigar damage is so high. Kind of trolling. If I have Death Dance, the healing would have been enough to get me to Soraka. I mean, like, that, that was kind of stupid from me. <laughs> Hopefully we don't all die for that. Like, I, I didn't follow the win con, which is make them focus Soraka. Hopefully it doesn't go too bad. I can't even buy my Death Dance. What? Okay, Fiora, maybe 1v9s. Gotta ignite off, she's dead. Don't have to focus her, bro. Oh, we got turret, nice. The turret gold gave me death stance. Okay, we're huge now. Okay, do we still have bounty? Yeah. <laughs> still have 1k bounty. So, I mean, we just have to, we have to avoid Vigar. But like, we kind of have to focus Vigar at the same time too. But I definitely trolled pretty hard giving Vigar the bounty. Just thought that it, I could, uh... I think his flash is up. Okay, got that flash. Vigar's flash is up now. Dude, if this guy didn't have the move speed, I would have hit so many hooks on him. I had the movement read there, it's just too much move speed. So we can't, we cannot engage on Vigar. I need my teammates to engage on him. My Sorok also very low. We can play kind of on the outskirts though. But it's too risky to walk up. Drum fighting, nice. <laughs> the Twitch named Space Glider is 3 and 13 with 90 CS. <laughs> Poor guy is getting dumpstered. Okay, we, we just have to play Omega safe. No GA, man. Like, if I get Vigar ulted, I just die. Like, the Vigar ult right now does 1000 damage, and I, I only have 1500 HP. But I can let my teammates engage, right? I just need to bait my teammates to get Vigar ulted. And once Vigar ult's down, I can go in. Hopefully they can get his flash too. Do you not take this? Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. Vigar top gives us free dragon. Maybe we could look for some sort of fight in the jungle. Too free enough pick. It's at least in here. Camille as well, wherever Camille is. Maybe still go Camille. Okay. Could maybe go Twitch, but chances are he just runs after that wave. There's no way he walks into us. Mm, I think we just recall. Pretty decent time. We'll go... Like, I'd say we could go Maw, but I really don't think Maw is worth it. I think I'll just go Edge of Night. Because Vigar does so much damage, even through my Maw. I feel like it just wouldn't matter. Because Vigar, the way it's designed is like, it's supposed to overkill, you know? Like, I mean, if I'm at like 500 HP, the, the Vigar ult's going to do like 2k. And even a Maw shield wouldn't do anything into that. Oh my god, Proudly's Claw, Jarvan. Flash that. That was a good silence from Rocket though. Ooh, that dunk. Okay, I kind of trolled that a little bit. Now I need to play very safe until my GA is back up, because now I have no GA, no flash. So if I get caught in the wrong spot, I just die. Oh, maybe I can go now though. Come on. It's very close. I'm confident enough to play risky here, but realistically. If you're trying your hardest to win, you should not go in at any time here. But I, I'd like to, you know, push it a little bit. I'm willing to push it. Maybe punch this guy on the wolves. Had to overkill for the smite. I knew he was going to try and smite it. Can maybe go for Vi- No, bad idea. Go for blue buff instead. Blue buff about to spawn. So now that my GA is up in 30 is when I can actually go really ham in a fight. Hopefully we use we use it for Baron. That would be optimal. The best play here is to do Baron with my GA being up. Mm. Could go Serpent. Serpent's not really useful, but since we're about to do Baron, I'm down to just finish Serpents for the power spike. Even though Serpents isn't a great buy here, it's just I feel like this game is about to end in one more fight, so that's why I finish it. Just for max damage potential, let's do Baron. 
We should be better than 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the main reason I'm forcing this Baron so hard is because my GA is up, right? It makes fights very easy to win. Twitch is taking out tier 2, but it's completely fine. So I'll probably just go straight mid here. Look for a pick on the MF, maybe. Don't want to extend too hard, just because her team can rotate. So I'll just take the ward instead. The entire team is bot side right now. I can't chase that. Do need to make sure Seraphine doesn't get caught. Seraphine's not in the best position, but she has TP. So she should be able to live. Oh, she's walking really poorly, though. But maybe she's fine. I'll fish check this, maybe. Yeah. I was able to react to the, the notification. The exclamation mark... You, Saw him on top of my head. That's why I was able to react fast there. As soon as I saw that vision thing is when I backed out. Okay, Twitch is doing something. Okay, I play with Raka here. We wait for Sweeper. I can probably W first. Mm, I trolled that, my bad. I'm stuck. Okay, we'll take it. A sloppy, sloppy LT, but that's whatever. Should be able to end here. I can probably tank. Just use my GA if I need to. I don't think I'm gonna die, though. There's no way I die. Am I even losing HP? No. <laughs> Alright, boys. <laughs> GG. Thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time. Peace, peace.